Hello, everyone. My name is Zhen Xiao. I'm a professor in the School of Computer Science, Peking University. Today, I'm glad to share our paper titled DINO, a block transmission protocol with low bandwidth consumption and propagation latency. This is joint work with my PhD student, Zhen Xinghu. As we know, TPS is a pain point in the public blockchain. A general method to improve TPS is to increase the block size, adding more transaction into one block. However, doing so increases block propagation latency, which leads to security issues like forking attacks, double spending attacks, and other mining attacks. This raises the question, can we put more transaction into the block without increasing the block size? An obvious solution is to compress the block content. Much work has been done on block compression. Mainstream public blockchain like Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash have already deployed block compression method, namely the Compact, Griffin, Xsigner, and Xsign. These methods achieve excellent compression results. Nevertheless, their block size still increase as more transactions are put into each block. Can we do better? The goal of our work is to develop a block transmission protocol with good scalability without sacrificing decentralization. Our protocol is called DLO. Its key idea is to transmit block reconstruction rules instead of compressed block content. Our observation is it is not always necessary for a node to transmit block content to its neighbors because most of the time those neighbors already have the transaction contained in the block. There are two assumptions in Dino. The first assumption is almost all transactions in a newly published block already exist in the memory pool of other nodes. This seems like a strong assumption, but it is supported by real-world measurement results. This figure shows our own measurement. When a Bitcoin full node starts, after receiving the most recent 10 blocks, the node's memory pool contains almost 99% of the transaction in a new block. Based on this assumption, a node can reconstruct new blocks using transaction in its memory pool. The second assumption is Miners are profit oriented and prefer packaging transaction with higher fees. This assumption holds in practice because rational miners are profit reapers. The transaction packaging algorithm in BTC and BCH are designed to gain the maximum profit, and the miners usually use them to generate blocks. Based on this assumption, it is possible for a node to predict which transaction in its memory pool will occur in the next new block. In the following, we will discuss the details of the DDO protocol. A node in the DDO protocol maintains a sending list S and a receiving list R for each of its neighbors. The sending list S stores the transaction hashes it sends to that neighbor, and the receiving list R stores the transaction hashes it received from that neighbor. The node periodically sends a received transaction message to tell its neighbor the set of transactions it has received in its receiving list R so far. Net F is a transaction packaging algorithm. 
it has two parameter. Block capacity is the maximum size of a block. Transaction set is a set of transaction in the memory pool of a node. We assume algorithm F will select the most profitable transaction when packaging a block. Suppose node J and K are neighbor in the Dino protocol. Node J receives a new block B and wants to send it to node K. Node J compares block B with its sending list S and the receiving list R associated with node K. Node J locates the receiving anchor, the sending anchor, and the missing transaction set M. Anchor is a transaction hash, which denotes the boundary of transaction in the memory pool. Transaction located after the anchor do not exist in block B. The anchor in R is called the receiving anchor, and the anchor in S is called the sending anchor. For example, the sending anchor in S is transaction E, which means transaction before and including transaction E are included in block B. The missing transaction set M include transaction in block B, which do not exist in S and R. In the next step, node J generates a prediction block PBJ with algorithm F. The block capacity here is set to infinity so that prediction block PBJ can include all transactions in block B. As Manner also use the same algorithm F to generate block candidates, the transaction order in PBJ is very similar to the transaction order in block B as can be seen in this example. Node J compare the prediction block PBJ with the original block B to generate a transformation message T. A transformation message contain information on how to transform the prediction block to the original block. There are three components in a transformation message. The first component is an interval array, which indicates a range of transactions in the prediction block that exist in the original block. In this example, the interval array is between the zero and the eighth index in the prediction block PBJ. The second component is a delete array, which indicates the set of transactions that need to be deleted in the prediction block. In this example, the delete array is between the first and the fifth index in PBJ. The third component is a reorder array, which indicates the sets of transactions that need to be reordered in the prediction block. In this example, the reorder array indicates the fourth transaction in PBJ should be put into the fourth index. In the last step, node J constructs a Dino block and send it to node K. A Dino block contains the following. The block header and the coin-based transaction, the receiving anchor and the sending anchor, the missing transaction set M, the transformation message T. When node K receives a Dino block, it builds a prediction block PBK, which is identical to the prediction block PBJ. The sending list S in node K is the same as the receiving list R in node J. Similarly, the receiving list R in node K is the same as the sending list S in node J. With the information in the transformation message T, node K can successfully rebuild the original block B. Next, we analyze the overhead in Dino. The size of a Dino block 
is mostly determined by the missing transaction set M and the transformation message T. As we said before, one assumption in Dino is almost all transaction in a new block already exist in the memory pool of other nodes by the time they receive the new block. Under this assumption, the number of missing transactions is close to zero. Thus, the size of a Dino block is largely determined by the size of the transformation message T. The size of a transformation message is determined by the similarity between the transaction order in the prediction block and that in the original block. Another assumption in Dino is man nodes are profit oriented and prefer packaging transaction with a higher fee. Under this assumption, transaction in the original block is a subset of transaction in M, S, and R. Both the original block and the prediction block are generated by the same packaging algorithm F. Hence, the transaction order in the prediction block PB is almost the same as the transaction order in the original block B. The number of transactions which need to be reordered is likely small. The number of transactions which need to be deleted and reordered are mostly determined by two factors. The transaction generation rate V in the blockchain network. The latency delta that a transaction propagates to the whole network. There are at most two times delta times V transaction to be deleted in the prediction block. We have designed a strategy to alleviate their impacts. If you are interested, please read our paper for details. Now we evaluate the performance of Dino. The experiment was conducted in a cluster with 16 nodes. We deploy our Dino protocol on Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash and compare it with the state-of-the-art protocol such as Compact, Griffin, and Xfin. This figure shows the bandwidth consumption when nodes receive the first 50 blocks after synchronizing history blocks. Since many transactions are missing during the starting hours, Dino, Compact, Xfin, and Griffin all need to transmit the missing transaction. Nevertheless, Dino's bandwidth is still the lowest. After a node has run for a long time, almost all transactions in a new block already exist in the memory pool of other nodes. These two figures compare the block size of different block protocols when there are no missing transactions. As we can see, the size of a Dino block keeps constant while the transaction volume increased from zero to the maximum limit. One concern with the Dino protocol is its memory footprint. A Dino node needs to maintain a sending list and a receiving list with each of its neighbors. In this experiment, we measure the bandwidth consumption of INV messages in transaction broadcasting process, as well as the bandwidth consumption of received transaction messages in Dino. For each transaction, a node only needs to include its hash and a pointer to the transaction, not the transaction itself. The memory usage increased with the number of transaction hashes in the two lists. When a node has all transactions in the network, their memory cost will keep constant. As we can see from these two figures, the bandwidth consumption of received transaction messages is only about 5% of the bandwidth consumption of INV messages in the transaction relay process. Next, we evaluated the scalability of Dino 
when the transaction volume and the transaction generation rate increase to a large value. Because the existing BTC and the BCH network cannot sustain such a high load, we ran this experiment in our simulator. The two figures show that when we increase the transaction volume from 2,500 to 15,000, a demo block is always no more than 1 KB. Similarly, when we increase TPS from 7 to 112, and when we increase the block capacity from 1 megabyte to 16 megabytes, a demo block is always no more than 1 KB. Finally, we measure block dissemination latency to reach a certain number of nodes in a network with different protocols. The figures show that as the block size increases, the block propagation latency of compact and Griffin protocols <coughs> increases, while Dino's propagation latency is almost constant. It takes much more time for compact and Griffin blocks to reach the final nodes, which have poor bandwidth. To conclude, we present a block dissemination protocol, which transmit block construction rules instead of block content. Our results illustrate Dino can scale to much larger transaction volume and a much higher transaction generation rates. We point out a new direction of research on block transmission, which has a promise of improving the performance of blockchain network without compromising its security and decentralization. Thank you for your attention.